Welcome to Mondays with Mark Allen. This is kind of a different one. This one is a message to all the pro triathletes out there. You guys have an amazing uh, opportunity in front of you now this year and probably going on into the future. A lot of races, a lot of prize money, a lot of potential to you know make your mark, add to your, your list of accomplishments. At the same time, it's taxing. It's a price on your body. And that's what I want to talk about today. I look back at just even what's happened at Ironman St. George, Ironman World Championships in St. George. Look, look at all the people who didn't even make it to the start line. Lucy Charles Barkley, stress fracture in her hip, pushing it too far, too long. And she also commented that her, her bone density had come back up to normal, which meant that there was a point where it wasn't normal, which meant a lot of things weren't going right for her. Jan Ferdano didn't make it to the start line, tearing his Achilles, pushing it too, too much, too hard, too far, probably. Who else? Uh, a lot of people didn't even make it because they got sick. Joe Skipper, uh, Javier Gomez, Laura Phillip, the list goes on and on and on. Alistair Brownlee at the last minute, Gustav Eden at the last minute, all sick. Maybe they were in the wrong place at the, right, at the wrong time. Maybe they pushed their bodies too far and their immune system was compromised and they couldn't fight anything off. I just have to, just I'm just saying this because I care about all of you. I care about what you're doing. I understand when there's opportunities, you have to go for it. But at the same time, you have a limited quantity, that thing called your body. You, you only get one in your lifetime. You have to take care of it. Triathlon in your level that you're at, it's only for a short period of time. It's not your entire life. It will not set, it will not set you up for the rest of your life if you're going to pay a price for what it took to set you up. Yes, you can make prize money. Yes, you can achieve great accomplishments. Yes, you can inspire others by what you do. But do it smart. I mean, look at... <laughs> And this is, I'm going to say some names, and this is not to call out any of you individually. This is a message to all of you. But let's say Ben Hoffman, Jocelyn McCauley, they, they both won Ironman Texas. Two weeks later, they're doing another Ironman in St. George, Utah. After I did an Ironman, I could not even think about doing anything for a good month. Is that crazy? I don't know. I can't speak for your bodies, but pay attention. Look at the folks who were in St. George who then went to the LA Triathlon and raced. Granted, it was a relay. A lot of the pros were there, Sam Long, Lionel Sanders. But you guys raced hard. You put out a big, huge effort, and you're racing again a week later after an Ironman. Has the world become so uh, just numb to the fact that, that racing at the level that you guys are, you men and you women, is a big demand on your body? I look at the people that I competed against and the price that a lot of them have paid. Scott Molina, he's had, he's had overuse uh, surgery, injuries, surgeries. He's had back problems for years. Scott Tinley, both hips replaced. Dave Scott has had problems with a lot of health issues, dealing with some heart stuff. Greg Welsh, the list goes on. And that's just the people who are still here. There were friends who have not made it. Dale Bisescu, my very first training partner, dropped dead a few years ago in a swim workout. Steve Larson, a great mountain, bike, mountain biker cyclist, came into the sport, dropped dead doing a track workout. That's not good. That's not good. Mark Montgomery, heart attack. Murphy Reinschreiber, heart attack. You may not know the names, but the message is clear. You have to measure your efforts. I don't have all the answers. I certainly pushed it beyond the point where I, I did things that were healthy, but at the same time, I tried to rein it in and to keep a big picture look at things. I trained a lot in Boulder, Colorado when I was racing. I saw a lot of cyclists, a lot of world-class runners, a lot of world-class triathletes, and I saw what they did. Some did it perfectly. Some pushed it too far, too many years, did too much racing, and they paid a price once they quit, a price that they were paying for the rest of their lives. And so the overriding mantra for me when I was competing was I wanted to retire uninjured, not burned out, healthy. That's a big ask. I understand it. Because when you're going for peak performance, 
the closer you are to maximizing your genetics, the closer you are to going over that edge where you are injured, where you are burned out, where you do get sick, where you're not healthy. Ask Emma Carney. She pushed it really hard. Is she happy with that? Ask her. See what she says. The list is big. The list is long. And I'm not pointing to any one person. I'm sending you this message. Learn from those who pushed it really hard too far. Learn from those who maybe did it kind of right. Look at Karen Smyers. She's pretty much, she's younger than me, but she, she won Ironman. She won IT Worlds. And she is still competing and still racing and still enjoying it because she does it in a healthy way. She doesn't push it too far. She doesn't push it too long. Rob Burrell, he set a, a world's record in the 60-64 age group in Kona a couple of years ago, 930-something. I mean, otherworldly, he's not injured. But he said, if I train more than 14 hours a week, I get overtrained. He knows his limit, and he honors that. Honor your limit. Think long term. This is a great period in your life. It is the only period in your life where you will be able to be one of the best in the world. Maximize it, optimize it, enjoy it, embrace it, go for it. But at the same time, look ahead 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 60 years. You have one body. Honor it. Mondays with Mark Allen. To all the pro triathletes out there and to anyone who is pushing the limit on what they do regardless of whether it's in sport or in life let's keep it balanced